for the quadratic function f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3, find the following information. The vertex, axis of symmetry, y-intercept, x-intercepts, and then we want to take a look at the graph of this function. The first couple parts are related. Finding the vertex and finding the axis of symmetry are related to each other. So first thing I want to do is identify a, b from this function up here, f of x. It looks like right in front of x squared here, a will be 1 and b will be 2. With this information, we can find the x-coordinate of the vertex by using negative b over 2a. So if we just substitute these numbers in, we will get that the x-coordinate is negative 1. To find the y-coordinate, you simply take the answer that you found over here for x, and you want to put it right into the function that we're given. So we want to find f of 1, and when you substitute 1 in for all of the other x's in this equation up here, you will get that the y value is negative 4. So putting it all together, the vertex of this particular parabola, f of x, listed at the top, is negative 1, comma, negative 4. So there's your part A. Part B uses this information, the axis of symmetry relies on the x-coordinate of the vertex. So the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 1, and since the axis of symmetry is a vertical line we need to set that equal to x for that entire equation to be our answer. On this second slide, we will be finding the x-intercepts and the y-intercept for the function f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. To find the x-intercept, you will substitute 0 in for y. And if you'll remember, f of x is the same thing as y. So that entire expression, f of x, will become 0. You can use many different solving techniques to solve this expression for x. But I will use split B factoring. And when you use split B factoring, you will get the following two factors equal to zero. You can take each factor and set it equal to zero and solve for x to find your x-intercepts. So when you take this first factor set it equal to 0 and solve for x, you will get x equals negative 3. And when you set the second factor equal to 0 and solve for x, you will get x equals 1. One important thing to note here is these answers are not x-intercepts. What we need to do is we need to fill out the rest of the ordered pair 
so negative 3 comma something and 1 comma something. If you go back all the way to the beginning here, it says substitute 0 in for y. So the y coordinates for each of these will be 0. Here are your x intercepts. The y intercept, to find that, we will want to substitute 0 in for x. So we will substitute 0 in for x. And when we simplify this down, 0 plus 0 minus 3, you get that the y-intercept is negative 3. Again, this answer does not help us with making the graph, so we need to turn it into an ordered pair, 0, comma, negative 3. And we have a 0 in the x-coordinate because we substituted 0 in for x. In this last slide, we will be looking at the graph of f of x. We will graph f of x by plotting the vertex, which is at negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, so about right there. We will be plotting the y-intercept, we'll do that in red, at 0, negative 3. And we will be plotting the x-intercepts, which I will do in blue, 1, 2, there's negative 3, negative 2. So one and x-intercept is right here, and over here at positive 1, we will have another x-intercept. So with these four points drawn, it looks like the graph will be going up something like that.